So I have a couple of slides, uh, but it's going to be mainly uh, a demo. Uh, basically, um, today we're going to talk about how we can create an OpenAI ChatGPT connector and uh, and consume that in Power Platform. So the demo will be in two phases. The first phase, we're going to create the connector, configure it, and do everything with the, the API key and uh, and so on. The second part will be to use this connector either in Power Apps or Power Automate. A uh, little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Samir Daudi. I'm Power Platform uh, architect. I've been working with Microsoft Technology since forever, since I remember. Uh, I blog frequently. You can hit me on Twitter, LinkedIn, or you can follow my my blog. Uh, I'm sure you're not here for this, so let me switch to more important stuff. As I said, um, we'll be doing uh, two things today. So the first thing is to create the custom connector. Uh, in order to do that. Uh, we will go to uh, make.powerapp.com. We are all familiar with that. If you don't see the custom connectors here, you can go to discover more and it should be somewhere here. So custom connector, let me pin this here and you get started. So at the moment in this end, I don't have any custom connector. I'm going to get started with a new custom connector from blank. I'm going to call this demo uh, dot et next. Right. So um, when it comes to creating the custom connector, you will be uh, going through a wizard. So I'm going to quickly go through this. Uh, so you can select an icon for your connector. The most important part is to uh, to define the API endpoint, the way you're going to authenticate with this uh, connector, and some, some details about the request, body structure, and so on. So the first thing uh, here is, is the host, the, the API endpoint. And this is um, API.com. OpenAI.com. I have blog posts about um, uh, how to create this custom connector with screenshots, step by step instructions. So I'm going to try to go quickly through uh, the steps to create this connector. Next, um, it's the way you're going to authenticate with the, with this OpenAI API. And the preferred way is to use an API key. Uh, the parameter will be, let me call it parameter label, let me call it API key. And the parameter name, which is quite important, and type that it's authorization. We will be passing the authorization in the header, so I'm going to leave that uh, as it is uh, now. Next is defining the different steps, uh, the different actions for my connector. So let me zoom out a little bit. So I'm going to have just one action for uh, for today's demo, and I'm going to call this um, yeah, ask chat GPT description more user friendly way. Uh, ask anything. And this is the operation ID. This is the op the the action that you'd be uh, calling in Power Apps or Power Automate, and let's call this Ask. Okay. Now the way our uh, request will be structured, um, I'm gonna import from sample. So this will be a post request uh, in terms of URL. Um, this keeps changing to be honest with you. So you can go back to um, the OpenAI API reference uh, site where you can look. Today we'll be looking only at the completion. So basically the completion uh, endpoint will be this one. I'm just gonna copy it. As I said, I have blog posts where I'm going slowly, step by step, with screenshots and so on. But uh, for today, I'm just gonna run through uh, those steps. So the header structure—it's just um, defining the content type. We'll be talking uh, with uh, JSON format, and um, in terms of the uh, the request body, um, OpenAI uh, API expect at least those five parameters. So basically, what we have here, we have the model, which is the language that we'll be uh, interacting with. Uh, in this case, it's Text DaVinci 003. Uh, prompt, this is the, the question or the uh, what you'll be asking ChatGPT. In this case, I just predefined this for test purpose with uh, what's your point metadata. You have uh, three other important parameters that you need to set. Max tokens is the number of tokens you'll be, uh, you'll be using. Um, you can create a free account with the OpenAI. You get, I think, uh, $18 credit uh, per month that you can use for um, all the interactions that you'll be making with OpenAI. Uh, temperature is a parameter which goes from 0 to 2, where 0 is a very precise answer, 2 can be very vague. Uh, and uh, N is the number of responses that you are expecting from uh, from uh, ChatGPT. In our case, we, we, we expect to, send, uh, to, to ask a question, get one response. So it's going to be always set to 1. So I'm going to import my request uh, structure. Um, at this stage, I can just go ahead and create the connector. So I'm going to save the change. It may um, take probably a minute or two to save. And we are ready to start testing. Perfect. So I, I switch to the test uh, step. Um, in order to test this connector, um, you, you're going to have to create a new connection. Um, and this is where you will have to go back to OpenAI, create your account. Um, let me find the right URL for that. 
as I said, you can have a free account. Once you, you create uh, your account, you go to API keys and you create a new, uh, new secret key. So basically, I'm going to say M365 demo. And this is my key. So I will copy the, the, the key from here. The, the format of the uh, API key has to be the following. So you're going to prefix it with bearer space and then the, the key that you have just generated. Right, so now I have created the connector. I will go back to my, uh, the connection, sorry. I will go back to the connector and go back to test. Here is my connection. Um, I have two options. I can either uh, fill those parameters or I can use the same uh, request body that I, uh, I use it to generate the model, which is this one. So again, I'm going to say the model is this prompt. This is my question and I'm going to test this connector. If everything goes well, it should return a response 200. And here we go. So SharePoint metadata is information, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. Now, what we need to do is to copy the, um, the response body. I will go back to definition. The reason why I'm doing this is because I know I will always be using those parameters. Uh, I don't need um, the users to keep feeding me those uh, those details. So um, what I will do is I'm going to set some default values here. So in my request, um, oh, sorry, in the response section, uh, I'm going to import from uh, from sample. Um, basically, I'm saying this is the, the response that you are expecting. So it says, OK, these are the properties that I, I expect from uh, the, the response. Again, I will go back to the request and I'm going to set some default values. So content type, uh, as I said, it's application JSON. So if I can copy that. And this is required and it's internal. And that means that the user will not be able to, to change it. Again, I'm going to go to the request body. Here, I'm going to set some default values. Max tokens, we said it's 1,000. It is a required parameter, and it's internal. Uh, model is text of inchi. Again, it's required, and it's internal. So same here. And is 1. Okay. And the temperature would be zero okay perfect so this is our connector it's ready to be used uh we can either use it in uh, yeah power automate power apps but for today's demo i'm gonna use power apps um i kind of cheated a little bit and i prepared the power apps uh canvas application here uh, there is nothing it's just the layout so here we have one screen with the uh, two parts so you have one text box where the user can ask a question you have the image of the logged in user a nice icon here for the the, the bot and the response will be will be added here. Uh, there is no code yet in this in this application. So the first thing we need to do, let me just refresh this. Would be to add uh, my custom connector in this uh, in this power app. So I'll go to data. Just remember my connector demo demo chart UPT. Okay. That is my connector. All right. Uh, now, when it comes to uh, to using this this connector, uh, as I said, we have a question uh, that will be coming from this text query, and the response will be set to text response. Uh, I said I said the default value for um, the response to be coming from this variable. So, basically, the button will will set the value of this variable. So I'm going to say but uh, set var response to my connector name dot ask ask is the um if you remember is the operation id that we said and then you have the default value so um as you can see it's giving me what what the uh, the connector is expecting you can go with the uh, with the default values so this is the top to max tokens thousand temperature zero and one and the most important is the prompt which is the question that we'll be uh, asking uh chat gpt so this will be coming from Text query failed. Right, I will flip quickly uh, back to to my connector just show you to show you how the response is, is structured. Um, sorry. Uh, okay, what's going on here? Uh, Sorry, I don't know what's going on here with this connector, but uh, um, so basically, the, even we, even though we said uh, we want one response with the end parameter, it's gonna send us, uh, it's gonna return an array of one item. So basically, I'm gonna take the first response um, that 
we will be receiving dot choices. So it's coming from uh, from the yeah. So the response will contain different parameters, and we are only interested in the text value um, that we got. What what I've done here is I've set to this variable the first response that I'm getting from this custom connector call. Um, as I said, we have the choices uh, array which will uh, give us all, all the uh, the responses, and from that response, I'm taking the text uh, the text value. Right. Okay. Let's see if this if this goes well this time. So uh, I'm going to test the application, and I will try to ask a question. Um, what is our agent? There we go. So basically. A call has been made uh, using my API to open AI uh, via the custom connector. I got an array of responses which contain just one response. I stripped everything uh, out of that response and only displaying the text. So you can do a lot with this. Uh, I have another demo where I showed where you can keep uh, uh, the history of conversation by using Power Apps uh, collections. But the fact that you have this custom connector, it opened the doors to, to, to any option. So you can use it in Power Virtual Agent. You can use it in Power Automate. You can do some translation. You can ask additional details. But um, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. Over to you, David. Awesome, Samir. Very, very cool. So in less than 15 minutes, you have created a connector and used it in a power app. That is slick, slick, slick. So uh, lots of questions in the uh, in the chat. I'll let you kind of look at those. And I posted the uh, blog post for him as well. So definitely check that Thank out. You. Thank you so much.